Hey guys, Alex here from Apple Dollars. Today we're going to be going over how to replace the LCD glass on a MacBook. This particular method can be applied to any MacBook uh, that is in the range between 2008 and 2013. As you can see, this specific unit has a crack. The tools we're going to need for this job, a macrofiber rag, a plastic card, this could be any card, um, a credit card or maybe uh, a room key, a pair of gloves. The reason for using these gloves is simply because this grass is cracked. So when we start prying it apart, it's most likely going to shatter into different pieces. If the specific screen that you ordered uh, doesn't have double-sided tape installed along the edge here uh, that you can just peel off, then you're going to also need M3 tape. M3 double-sided tape can be easily purchased from any uh, store retailer. You'll need a heat gun or a hair dryer. This specific heat gun was purchased for $15. For the purpose of this video, we're, I'm going to be using a uh, cheap rework station that was purchased for $50 from eBay. This will save time and um, I'll be able to um, do this in about 2 minutes when it comes to heating things up instead of 7 or 8 minutes with the heat gun or hair dryer. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and shut this unit down. We're putting this on full blast, full heat. This specific MacBook screen is glued in with double-sided tape from factory so what we want to do is we want to heat up that double-sided tape that's underneath this glass panel once we heat it up and get it kind of gooish underneath what we're going to do is we're going to st start at the top right corner and we're just going to pry the glass apart from this LCD screen assembly as you can see, I'm going all the way around. There's a rubber part right here along the screen uh, edge. And what you w don't want to do is you don't want to concentrate the heat on it because it will melt it right to the screen. So just try to avoid it as much as you can. Uh, I know it would be a little more difficult with a hair dryer. But the uh, main purpose here is to heat up the screen, get it nice and warm so that the tape underneath is kind of gooey and then we're gonna pry our credit card in there and we're gonna try to go along the edge to pry this screen apart We're going to start on this top right corner here, so I just want to get that nice, nice and hot. Okay, let's go ahead and put our heat gun aside and try and pry our card right in here. As you can see, that was pretty easy. This screen looks like it's already been replaced. Other screens might be a little harder. Once you get this card in here, into the screen, what you want to do is you want to go, want to go alongside here. <clears throat> Possibly turning the heat gun back on and applying some heat as you go along.
The part that I'm most worried about here is this this part right here, the one that's cracked. What we want to do is we want to be extremely careful when we come around this way. Also, right here is your eyesight camera. This part you have to be extremely careful about. You don't want to crack it. You don't want to get it dirty. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to go just a little over the top of it. Okay, I can tell right now that this screen is cracking as I'm going through. So what we want to do in this situation right here is we want to, we got the, our card through and we got it pried uh, on the right side. So now what we want to do is we want to pry in from the left. So let's get our heat gun back on. What we want to do is we want to concentrate right there. Also keep heating up the rest of it. Okay. Let's see if we could pry right in here okay yeah we did all right so let's just come in from this side okay that looks good all right let's go down okay that looks pretty pretty good pretty easy sometimes when the screen starts falling apart, especially around the area that it was cracked, this is where things get a little tricky. And you can definitely, definitely cut yourself, hurt yourself, so be very careful. Definitely make sure to wear gloves. Okay. See, we kind of gently lift it up. Make sure not to jerk it, grab it too hard. Just gently kind of pry it out. Now we're going to work our way all the way to the bottom here. Okay, and just get our card in there as much as we can. Work all the way to the bottom here. And now we can, if you feel a little bit of resistance, try to pry your card underneath like, like so. A little more to spread it out. This one's coming out fairly easy. As you can see right here, this screen is kind of cracked. The worst is when the screen starts falling apart as you're working on it. And you can easily cut yourself. Okay, for the next step, if your LCD replacement screen didn't come with tape on it already, uh, like this one for instance, because this is a refurbished unit, this is a unit that I just pulled off of another MacBook that I'm using. We're going to get our double-sided tape here. This is M3 double-sided tape. And then we're just going to make a light, quick repair. From your old cracked LCD, go ahead and pry this part back out from your old LCD. Place it back onto your new LCD, like so. Okay, now we just want to do away with that. Now, 
Now what we want to do is we want to take a microfiber cloth and we want to gently go ahead and rub any dust residue right off of this. Okay. With a microfiber cloth, gently rub off any residue or dust from the screen. Okay, please note the per process does not have to be perfect. Both surfaces should be clean and free of dust, but if tiny little particles uh, are in the way, uh, that's okay. As long as we don't see any dots once the computer lights up, that is exactly what we're going for. Once you aligned, once you aligned the screen up, before putting too much pressure, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and power the system on. Okay, looks good. Any of the dust that we see is on top of the screen and not on the bottom. Okay, now what we want to do, now please pay attention here and be very careful. At this stage, what we want to do is we want to very gently go along the side here and press where our thumb is not hard because if you press too hard and there's space in between is going to cause the screen to crack. Okay. Feels pretty solid. I don't see any grainy pieces. After opening and closing it multiple times, the double-sided tape will adhere and this will cause to, for the screen to stick on permanently. So that's it. There you have it. A brand new functioning screen. Thank you for watching.